and welcome to our newest highlights program, Spring Highlights, here on YHC. And we'll be talking with some local business owners in the area, as well as a few local interest segments that we're going to touch on, such as Rebecca Northern. She is a young talent out of Bloomfield, and she's got quite the scene career early on, looking to advance her music career beyond college and to college studies as well. So we're going to have an uh, interest segment with her, as well as Three Rivers College President, Dr. Devin Stevenson, and one of the fastest growing colleges, not only in the state, but the country, Three Rivers College here in Southeast Missouri. We'll talk with Dr. Stevenson about the things happening there at Three Rivers College, as well as local business segments with Audubel Hearing Center and Chris Warren. They've got a fabulous new product out when it comes to the uh, hearing aid business. So he's going to showcase that new product as well. And also we're going to touch base with First National Bank with area presidents from Dexter and Kennett. And we hope you enjoy Spring Highlights. And we're out at Audubel Hearing Aid Center here in Dexter, along with Chris Warren, the owner here. And Chris, we're going to talk about some things here at the Hearing Center, but you've got a, a great new product that's out that people can really take advantage of. Yes, it's uh, called the Surflink Mobile, and it's basically a small device that is Bluetooth compatible with pretty much anything in your house that uses Bluetooth, and it will stream that device straight into your hearing aids completely wirelessly and it's also a remote control that you can use to uh, program your own hearing aids with the volume different memories and such so it gives the, the customer a lot of customization with their hearing aids and plus it lets you use all those little toys you got and be able to use your hearing aids to hear okay we're going to do a little demo for the viewers out there so let's take a look okay okay basically what we have here this is called the surflink mobile remote control and this is part of our uh, wireless Bluetooth compatibility set. And most of our hearing aids are wireless now that you can use this remote along with those hearing aids. And there's several different functions that you can do with this remote. First off, it is a remote control and it's completely wireless. So you don't have any wires attached to your hearing aids. You can be up to 10 feet away and still control the hearing aids. And so what the basic functions it has is on the side here, it has uh, volume controls that let you turn the volume up and down on your hearing aids. You can choose between which hearing aid that you want to, to do the remote with. So if you just want to control the left ear or just the right ear with a touch of the button, you can choose between that. Or if you do want to do both of them at the same time, you just hit the button in the center and that chooses both of them. It has a memory button, so uh, we can set the hearing aids up with up to three different memories for different situational um, type of listening modes so that like, uh, we can set one up for a restaurant. So if you have too much background noise and you can't hear the person that's talking across from you, we can hit this button and it'll change to the restaurant mode. Then we can set it up for maybe uh, listening to your TV so that you can hear the TV better, or we can set it up for an outdoor mode. So if you're a hunter uh, and you want to be able to hear better in the tree stand, we can set you up a, a listening mode for that as well. Uh, some of the other functions that it has, uh, it has a mute button. So if you just want to turn them off for some reason, just use them as earplugs, you can hit the mute button. Uh, we have a home button so that if you get confused on where you are, on the programming you just hit the home button and it go, takes you back to the original settings so it's not real hard to get confused it went dead there so basically the favorite button here is a button that you use to turn the streaming on so anytime you have this hooked up with any device in your house that is bluetooth compatible you can hit that favorite button and that will turn the streaming on so if you have in your house a, uh, a new, newer type TV that is Bluetooth compatible, you can actually pair this Surflink remote with your TV and when you have it paired with it on there, you can hit the start button and whatever's playing on your TV will actually play in your hearing aids wirelessly. So you don't have to uh, turn the volume up to where you can hear it. So you can let someone else who you're watching TV with turn the volume up to where they want it. You can hit the streaming button and it's playing directly into your hearing aid so you don't have to fight over the remote anymore. 
Uh, one other thing that is useful about this remote, it, has, it does have external microphones on it, and that helps a lot with uh, uh, meeting type situations, or uh, a lot of people say they use it in Sunday school. They can turn the remote or the microphone on, and they can actually take the remote and set it next to the person that's doing the teaching or is doing the meeting, and uh, that way they can hear the person talk a lot better, a lot more clearer to their, through their hearing aids as well without having to uh, compromise where they want to sit. They can sit at the back of the room or on the other side of the table and they can just take this remote and lay it next to the person that's talking. So it gives you a little more compatibility with whatever situation you're in with having those external microphones on there. Kind of gives you a third ear basically. So with that being said, this pretty much will hook up with any Bluetooth device. The biggest thing that it will hook up with that will make your life easier is your cell phone. It will give you true hands-free uh, calling and listening on your cell phone when you have the two paired. Whenever you receive a phone call, you will have a button that pops up on the remote that says answer or ignore. When you hit answer, whoever's talking on the phone, you will hear that in your hearing aids. And when you talk, it goes through your hearing aids through the remote to your uh, telephone so that you don't even have to touch your telephone. It can stay in your pocket the whole time so this helps if you're driving or if you're just doing something that you need to be able to use your hand, cooking supper or whatever. You'll be able to use, uh, you'll be able to hear the conversation in both ears and not just one, but both ears so that you pick up more of the phone conversation. You don't have to worry about background noise uh, taking out a lot of the sound. And it just makes it a lot easier to understand what the person on the other side is saying. So pretty much any device you have in your house, like an MP3 player, a TV, cell phone, computer, anything that's Bluetooth compatible will hook up with this remote and you'll be able to stream those sounds directly into your hearing aids. And Chris, what a device this is and when you think of a hearing aid you think you can only receive sound but you, you can actually transmit sound through this device with the hearing aids and actually, you know, as you showed, using your cell phone to actually oh, yeah. transmit and receive sound. Yeah, it uses the actual microphones inside the hearing aids to take the sound from your voice and transmit it wirelessly through the device into your cell phone so that you don't have to uh, have the cell phone stuck to your ear while you're using both hands to do something else more important. Sure, it's a great device and making strides all the time when it comes oh, to these yeah. hearing aids. Uh, there's a lot of advancements come about in the last few years and there's more to come but right now this is pretty much the biggest thing on the market right now and probably will be for the next few years so it's, uh, it's, it's something that everybody needs to take advantage of especially if they've already got hearing aids and they don't like the compatibility with being able to talk on the phone or if they can't use them still have to take their hearing aids out to talk on the phone this device takes care of that good deal and for people to come by and you show them in person how can they come by they can come by monday through friday 8 30 to 4 30 any day give us a call it's best to make an appointment first just to make sure they don't have to wait to get in to see us but we do accept walk-ins too they can come by our phone number is 573-624-6214. They can call anytime during the week, make an appointment. If they show up, we'll try to get them in as quick as possible. And we can do a free demonstration of the product. We can put hearing aids on them for 30 days, let them try out the product before they even buy it. So no obligation required. Okay, and you're out here on the outer road in Dexter, right? Yep, north outer road, right next to American Outdoors, across the highway from Walmart. Okay, so not, not hard to find. Come by and see Chris here at Audubell Hearing Center. He'll uh, help you through this if you're interested in a great device to take advantage of. And Chris, we appreciate your time showing our viewers this great new device. Yeah, thank you. All right. And we're along with Rebecca Northern, a local talent out of Bloomfield here in southeast Missouri. And Rebecca, it's good to have you with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Sure. And uh, you've gotten quite a bit of notice with your talent here in the Boot Hill and really into the music and got a few videos that you made as well. Fortunately, yeah. Um, I have a video that I filmed at my high school not too long ago called Hey Baby and um, a video called What You Wanted. So. Okay. Yeah. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. but. We're going to talk about uh, basically what got you to this point in doing what you like to do is in music. So just talk a little bit about your journey th okay. to this point. 
Um, ever since I was 12, I've always wanted to just write music and perform. So I started learning guitar and I taught myself. And then I started performing locally, just at all kinds of different venues. And then um, anywhere they would let me play. And then I started getting into where I knew I wanted to get my music out there. So I, I found the Walker Brothers over at Bernie and uh, we recorded a CD. And then from there, we went and filmed a music video. And it's just kind of been growing. And I've been meeting a lot of new people, fans from across the area. It's exciting. Sure. And uh, are you in music in school at all? Yeah. Um, choir is my big thing. I got into Allstate Choir. And I'm the first person from Bloomfield High School to actually uh, be in Allstate Choir. So that was exciting. Sure. Yeah. And um, we have some ensembles that we we competed a couple weeks ago at TRC, yeah, TRC and our ensembles got one so we get to go to state at the end of this month. Okay, so that's Exciting. the thing you're looking forward to here yeah. in the school year. <laughs> All right, and you're currently a senior, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so gonna be wrapping up things here before long. It'll yes. be uh, it'll be over before you know it. So uh, got some things to, to work on right before school's out. So uh, let's let's take a look at that uh, video that you got. Let's look at okay. the, the Hey Baby, her newest video. Let's take a look. <laughs> Trust your heart, don't know if I really do Because you fucked up like a weed Keep coming back, you never leave For some reason you think you need me Well, I know that that's the case For you, but not for me You see, not every girl falls so easily Hey, baby, that's not my And you saw their very interesting video, seeing the Bloomfield High School in there. That was really neat. Yeah, that was exciting. And you know that gym is you know over fifty years old, and seeing I really, that in the shot. I really, I really wanted to in incorporate that into my video, just 
for when I'm older, I can show my kids and be like, hey, check this out. This is where I went to high school. And it's also where the story of the song took place. So it's really special. Yeah. Sure. And let's just talk about what was the idea of going into the video, how it all came together. Okay. Well, um, Hey Baby was about a guy that I had a crush on who played basketball. And um, he thought that he could just get any girl he wanted, but that's not really how it worked out. So... Um, we, well, my producers work over at Holcomb High School, one of them does, and they got some guys from their school. Um, the main guy in the video you saw is uh, Tyler Lewis, and uh, he came in, and I didn't know him. And then <laughs> the day that we filmed, we just met, and we're like, hey, you're going to be the guy of interest, and uh, <laughs> it was really fun. We had some great chemistry yeah. on set, but we filmed all day long, and we were really tired, but we had a lot of food to keep teenagers going. We invited all my fans to come out and be a part of the video. We had a big concert scene and school scenes, as you saw. So, yeah, it was really fun. Sure. That's, <laughs> that's pretty neat. Tyler Lewis played for the Hawkeye Hornets yep. this year, so I'm sure he didn't mind playing the part. So. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Yeah. So, uh, and talking about the song and the other, all the songs you do, do you, do you write them? Do you have yes. someone else write them? Yeah, I do. I like to write all my stuff because it's more personal for me. And I like to write stuff that people can relate to. So I'm hoping that some high school girl out there has had the same problem as me, but I don't know. It's also just a fun song to listen to and sing to. Yeah, so, well, you know, know, it's authentic. You know, it's, yeah. That's really neat. So is that basically what you try to do with your songs, really try to take personal experiences or you try to look... How, yeah. experiences of others or how, how do you how do you look into it um well i like to write songs like all the time so i'll write i'll pick the ones for my album that i think more people will relate to and uh, the fun ones the sad ones the ones that people say you know that really get to them so yeah okay so uh looking forward uh what's some things that you're going to be working on here just Going, you know, in the yeah. short time going forward. Um, on May 5th, I'm actually getting to open for Colin Ray at the Rogers Theater in Popper Bluff. And, uh, oh, May 4th. <laughs> I'm a teenager, you guys. <laughs> Not the best math score out there. May 4th. And um, you can get tickets online at um, rogerstheater.org. And Colin Ray is like, for me, that's a big deal because I've never really opened for someone that's had a bunch of number ones and I don't know I'm really excited about that and I'm also writing for my next album so okay. stay tuned <laughs> all right so when do you plan on putting that together um hopefully by next fall I'm hoping to be able to just get that all lined out but I don't want to record until I know that I have all the songs that I want ready for my album because I want it to be the best that it can be obviously <laughs> sure and you know, you play some instruments as well. I can see in some, you know, some of the videos you've done playing guitar. Yeah, um, I play guitar. I'm not the best guitar player, but it's enough, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me, that's one. It's that's nice a to talent. have a company with. Uh, that, yeah, that is a talent to to play guitar and sing. Yeah, yeah. That's quite a talent to develop. Not all the singers even <laughs> do that. So. That's actually something to be proud of. And do you play anything else? Um, I play mandolin, and I play flute in band in middle ah. school. So, so you I can add that to the list. Plan on breaking the flute out in any of your <laughs> songs at all? <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to keep that one in the closet for uh, a while. There you go. <laughs> all right. So as we've talked about, you're a senior, going to be graduating soon. Yeah. So what are your plans going forward after high school? I am actually going to move to Nashville in the fall. And... Um, focus on songwriting and getting out and networking and just experiencing the whole atmosphere of Nashville. And also, I'm working towards a music business degree, so either way, if the artist career doesn't take off, which I'm hoping it will, and I'm just going to work really hard at it, but either way, I want to work in the music business because I just, I love it, the craziness of it. I don't know. I really like it, so... I'm just going to go down there and do my thing, I guess. All right. So that's something to look forward to. At least you got, you know, mapped out. Yeah. You know, where you've got something to, you know, fall back on and enjoy. So that's that's really good Why going forward. Why not take a chance? So. Sure. <laughs> so uh, you got probably a little over a month till graduation time. So uh, you'll be winding down your high school career yes. and, and uh, move on. At least you'll have a video to look back on. So not yeah. many people have Hopefully that. Hopefully I'll have more <laughs> videos to come. So Sure. All right. So. 
we wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you so much. Well, it's been pretty exciting for you, uh, doing what you've already done and looking ahead to what you're planning on doing. So we'll be certainly looking forward to what you do here in the near future. And Thank you. Hopefully it all works out for you. Thanks. All right. Well, Rebecca Northern, everyone, and we appreciate you stopping by Thank and talking so with us. Thank you so much for having me. All right. And now we're along with Mike Hobbs, the Community Bank President here in Dexter of First National Bank. And Mike, you're actually uh, the new president here at the bank. That's correct. So uh, how long have you been here? I've been here since January of this year. Okay, so you're just basically finishing up the first quarter here. That's correct. Okay, so uh, just talk a little bit about your branch here and uh, what, what you all do here at First National Bank of Dexter. Well, First National Bank is a, is a service-oriented institution. We look to, uh, to taking care of the customer. Uh, primarily, uh, the uh, the whole goal of the bank is uh, is the uh, is is to meet the demands of the customer, and to and to tailor those services the bank offers to meet those demands for each individual customer. Okay, so uh, as we said, we're wrapping up the first quarter here, looking to the second quarter. So, uh, you know, you, it's come and gone already right, so we're almost we're getting we're, into we're the moving along. moving along quickly. So, is there anything this time of the year that maybe people need to uh, know about at this time of the year? Well, uh, you know, rates are, are extremely uh, low at this point. Uh, people are still working on refinancing their homes, uh, need to uh, look at uh, possibly building, purchasing new homes. Uh, we're, we offer the, uh, the real estate mortgage uh, opportunities here at the bank. Uh, as long as uh, the agricultural industry, uh, we look in, uh, in that sector as well. So. Um, you know, it's springtime, time to build, time to buy. Hopefully, things like that uh, start start uh, uh, start up very soon. So yeah, the rates probably as best or as good as you'll ever see. They're as low as you'll probably see them for a long time. They've stayed low for a while, but uh, you know, uh, you know, there's a they can only go up and they will go up eventually. But uh, now's the time to take the opportunity to uh, to refinance or, or to purchase. Sure. Yeah, if you're in the market to buy, this is the time to get in. Yeah, that's correct. All right. So, anything else you'd like to share with our viewers about the services here at Dexter? Well, the uh, you know First National Bank is uh, again it's it's service oriented. Uh, we have a, a top notch staff here at Dexter. Uh, we look at uh, meeting the demands of the customer, um, and uh, you'll never find a, a bank that has a better staff uh, to meet those demands and to to see uh, you know see what the customer is taken care of. Okay. Well, Mike, we appreciate your time spending with us and. Just come on by here and see the new renovations here taking place Absolutely. at Dexter. We've got a little bit to go, but it's it's right. coming along we're, quite nicely. We're moving along. Uh, we'll be glad when it's finished, but uh, uh, it's looking very nice. Sure. We'll be looking forward to the finished project here at First National Bank in Dexter. And thanks again, Mike. Thank you, Tyler. And we're now along with Mark Moore, the Community Bank President of the Kennett Branch of First National Bank. And Mark, it's good to have you with us. Well, good to be here. Sure. And we were uh, talking with uh, Mike, of course, about the different services with First National Bank. And, you know, they're going to be pretty much similar around the different branches. But down here in Kennett, also, you know, always serving uh, customers and their needs, whether it be business, consumer. Uh, just maybe just share about the services you have. Well, we're a full-service bank, and uh, we offer checking accounts, savings accounts, IRAs, CDs, and all types of real estate loans, uh, ag loans, just uh, anything to, to help you out. I mean, we're, we're a, like I said, a full-service bank. Sure. And, of course, uh, farming is a big part of our economy here in the Boot Hill in northeast Arkansas, so always a help in that regard as well. Yes. It, uh, agriculture is definitely our number one priority. We, we have a lot of ag loans, and, and we appreciate all of our, our farmers, as well as our other customers. Of course. And uh, anything that's coming along that people out there might take advantage of when it comes to the services with First National? Well, uh, we have several different real estate loans uh, that we work with uh, presently. So anyone you know looking at buying a house is getting that time of year to uh, buy and maybe remodel or whatever, just uh, come see us for any of your banking needs. 
Okay, and they can visit the website for any information uh, regarding it, any one of the branches, but uh, you're all online as well. Sure, sure are. Yes. Okay, and anything you'd like to share with the viewers about uh, the branch here in Kennett? Well, just uh, we're proud to be here, and we appreciate all of our customers, not only from Kennett, but the surrounding communities. And uh, we'd just like to say a big thank you to every, all your support and the help that you give us. Okay. Well, we appreciate you spending some time with us, and we'll look forward to uh, everyone coming in and seeing, seeing you here at the, the Kennett Branch of First National Bank. I look forward to it. All right. I'm married, I have a child, and my someday was when my job got shipped to Mexico. So I took charge and went to Three Rivers College. It opened doors I couldn't imagine. Better job, better pay. My certification in green diesel technology at Three Rivers took less than two years. It didn't cost a lot either. My future's never looked greener. Three Rivers College, turn your someday into graduation day. Take your first step toward a stronger, more fulfilling career. Make your someday today. Enroll now at Three Rivers College. And we're at Three Rivers College at the main campus along with Dr. Devin Stevenson, the president here at Three Rivers College. And Dr. Stevenson, we appreciate you spending some time with us. Tyler, it's great to have you on campus today. Welcome to God's country. Sure. <laughs> uh, we're, we're glad to have you on the campus of uh, Three Rivers College. Of course, you know, we like to think we're the college without walls. And we've, we've expanded way beyond the 80 acres that we sit on here uh, in Poplar Bluff. We're throughout southeast Missouri, but we're glad you're here and glad to have the YHC uh, viewing family sure. uh, watching today. All right. We appreciate the time. And we see the coverage map behind us that you all are covering, and it seems like you all are expanding all the time. We are. Um, you know, we have, if, if you look at the, the map, we have 15 counties throughout southeast Missouri. Uh, not over 9,000 square miles that we that we cover, and so we teach now in um, in six different centers, uh, and then we have uh, 34 high school sites that we teach in. In addition to our virtual world, and that is our online learning degree program, which has about 30 percent of our enrollment. So this college has literally taken wings uh, and spread over southeast Missouri. Uh, to do good things, to create job opportunities and improve the quality of life uh, and make a better way of life for all of us here. Sure, and we've seen campus, uh, campuses expanding to as far north as Cape Girardeau. That's correct. And as far west as maybe Willow Springs? Willow Springs, yes. We're um, hopefully by uh, the fall term, uh, we'll be operating in Willow Springs. We already have the lease uh, on space there in the MoDOT building, the former MoDOT building, which is really first class. I mean, it looks like a small college campus there. Uh, but uh, we look forward to offering classes and short-term certificate programs uh, in Willow Springs. Okay, and of course, uh, into the main campuses here, Poplar Bluff, the main campus, and uh, campuses in the Boot Hill, such as Malden, and also Dexter that's come on board here in the last yeah. few years. You know, we started two years ago in Dexter, Missouri, with no students, uh, and today we have close to 500 uh, this particular campus that you're on, we call this our Popper Bluff campus now because we're starting an eastern campus in Sykeston. Uh, but this campus has grown 14.7% even while we were building out the Dexter Center and it's grown that much. Uh, we're looking for over 5,000 students here uh, in the fall term and we believe it's very achievable for us to reach that. So it's exciting to be a part of one of America's fastest growing community colleges as designated by the American Association of Community Colleges. And then we are now um, designated as Missouri's fastest growing public higher education institution. So we're growing faster than any two-year school. We're growing faster than any four-year school. And so we're really excited about that growth. We, we know it, it challenges us. It stretches us. It causes us to think a little bit different than we have in the past. But that's what community colleges are about transformation, being agile and responsive, and always leaning forward. So we're loving these times. They're great for us. This is the golden <laughs> age of community colleges and the golden age for Three Rivers, no question about it. Sure. And, of course, with that kind of growth, it means that more things are coming on board with all of the campuses. So talk a little bit about some current initiatives that are taking place. That's good. Um, we're very, very proud of our technology division. Uh, recently at the Missouri Community College Association Convention, 
uh, our IT department won the Innovator Award. And, and that's big because you, you put our institution um, in a comparative position uh, with St. Louis or uh, with Kansas City or even Springfield for this IT department here to emerge as the top. Uh, that is pretty amazing, Tyler. So we're, we're very thankful for, for that. With that said, what has happened is that they've looked at ways of getting the educational message and getting the administrative and programmatic needs of this college off this campus and out into the community so that we've got seamless transfer of information. We're uh, do actually building our own VoIP system, voice over IP system. Uh, and we're really pleased our guys are doing it through open sourcing, saving us thousands of dollars. In addition to that, we're doing new buildings. We're building a new building here on the Popper Bluff campus to house humanities and social sciences. And we're building a $7.3 million facility in Sykeston uh, that will house our nursing program as well as all of our general ed courses on approximately 38 acres that was given to us right on Highway 60. Um, also, as you saw when you came to the campus today, we're doing about a $2.5 million renovation of our academic resource commons. When a lot of people are taking their libraries and dismantling them, we're adding two hours and we're strengthening by placing all of our academic and learning resources together in one place. Uh, and it is going to be a beautiful facility Great. Right? when it's complete. So there's a lot of things happening at Three Rivers and we're just blessed and honored to be, to be here at this particular time. My wife Judy and I love this place and, and we're very excited about all the things that are happening and to be a part of it, to be on the team. Sure, and this is a great place to get started when it comes to higher education. Of course, students can use their A-plus uh, studies to take to Three Rivers as well. That's right. You know, the state of Missouri has been very uh, forward-thinking, very thoughtful uh, regarding the A-plus program, providing high school students that, that will get their grades appropriately positioned and will do community service and, and the things that need to be done that show some discipline, uh, that show some regiment, uh, they, get, they get those things done and that student is eligible for an A-plus scholarship. Unlike you see in so many states, I mean, it's very unusual to have that. We didn't have that in Alabama, where I came from. But here we do, and now high school students can take advantage of that. And the newest legislation that is coming through Missouri right now, through the legislature, is to open the door for all students, regardless of the high school they attend, uh, to take advantage of A-plus if they meet those minimum requirements. So if that legislation passes, uh, all Missouri high school students that meet those minimum criteria will be eligible for A+. Plus. So, you know, for, for A+, plus, and there's only one, one authentic A-plus program, and you'll find it at Missouri's community colleges, one of the 12 Missouri community colleges. No four-year universities have the A-plus program. They wish they had it, but they don't. Uh, so if, if you hear of an A-plus program anywhere else, it's not the real A-plus program. Only the Missouri Community Colleges have the real A-plus program. Okay. And, of course, you know, community colleges are a great asset to take two years of schooling going on to a yeah. four-year school, but also it's <clears throat> able to be used for career training, for you know, certificates and, what, and things like that, so maybe speak to that. Yeah, that, that's a good point. I, you know, a lot of people miss that point, and I think that that is an important piece. Over the next 10 to 15 years, 85% of the jobs that are going to be created in this new economy are going to be middle, middle skills jobs. Uh, middle skills jobs that uh, do not require a four-year degree. Um, in fact, CNN just did a report that said now for the first time in the history of higher education, students that have attended community colleges are making more overall than students that have four-year degrees. So if you take all the associate degree nurses that we train, all of the agribusiness grads that we train, um, all of the diesel technology mechanics that we train, uh, those far eclipse the earning power of, of the holistic group of four-year degree earners. So I, I really think that community colleges are well-placed uh, to do a host of things. If you want to come here for the first two years, you can get a very quality education, transfer on to a four-year institution, 
And all the statistics show that the students that start with us and transfer on to uh, Missouri State, uh, to Rolla, to the University of Missouri, to Arkansas State, uh, will do equal to or greater than the student that starts at that four-year institution as far as a cumulative grade point average. So the proof's in the pudding. We prepare the students and they do well. If a person wants to come here and get a two-year degree in nursing and go out and make $50,000 a year with great benefits and perks, they can do it right here. So we're sort of all things to all people when it comes to higher ed. Uh, and, and I think that really, that's the thing that makes community colleges so valuable uh, to this state. And last year, for the first time, we eclipsed our four-year partners in the number of Missourians enrolled in higher ed. We now have about 115,000 uh, in community colleges where four-year institutions have about 99,000. There is a definite trend toward community college education in America. And that's painful for a lot of people, but the economy is driving that. Uh, and so we want to be responsive to that, Tyler. Certainly, you always want to expand to the needs of the marketplace and the different industries that are developing and coming on board. So it seems like you are doing that here at Three Rivers College. And, and that's the thing, I, I think, uh, for us. Uh, three of the four of our cabinet members at the top level here at the college have undergraduate degrees in business. And so we approach Three Rivers in a different way. We don't approach it like a typical educator does. This is a, a business that must have very excellent accountability, quality programs, and then it must be responsive with good customer service. Those things are critical uh, to being successful. And so that is something that we very much push uh, here. We promote it. Uh, we, we require it. Uh, it is something that our people must deliver. Um, you know, there's an old adage in business that if, if someone has a really good experience with your organization, they'll tell five people. But if they have a bad experience, they'll tell 17 people. So you want to get as many good experiences as you possibly can. And that's what we try to do. That's what we try to do, and that is take care of our customers, which are our students. Meet their needs, help them get where they need to go. And that doesn't mean just say to them, well, go down to the, to the next building and go into the third door. It means take them by the hand and walk them to that place. We need to be that committed to customer service. Uh, and so I think that's, that's played a big role in, in what we're doing. Uh, we are touchable. We believe that this is a people business, uh, and, and we need to take care of people's needs. Sure. All right, then. Was it summer and fall registration is now underway? It's open right now. It's time to do it. Uh, classes will fill up. Mm -hmm. uh, we expect a, a strong summer enrollment, but the fall will probably be, it will probably be um, a record for Three Rivers as we eclipse that 5,000 mark. Uh, and so now's the time if, if individuals want to get classes. And you know those classes like basic English, your basic math, uh, your histories, your you know, psychology, those classes fill up. Mm -hmm. So it's important to, to get them. And, sure. get, and get get enrolled early. That's right. And anything else you'd like to share with the viewers out there? No, we just thank careers? everyone for their support. Um, I think there's pretty much a, a, a common knowledge that we're in the middle of a, a capital campaign. Uh, we're seeking to raise funds for the new buildings, and, and we'd like for donors to be very thoughtful and prayerful about how they would uh, like to make a donation or leave a, leave a legacy gift. Uh, to the college to go on for years and years to come. Last year we established a, a scholarship our family did for in, na in, um, in honor of my mother who's still living uh, because we want to leave something here long after we're gone. And I, and I think that's important that we, that we look forward and, and think about how can we impact the generations that will come behind us in a very positive way. Um, so, you know, my, my uh, urging today would be for those that are listening uh, that might be potential donors to think about Three Rivers uh, in their will uh, as they're, they're thinking now about how they might want to invest, appreciated stock, uh, property, real estate. There are great ways that you can leave a legacy and help and bless people for years to come. And we want folks to think about that. Of course. And we appreciate your time today. And Thanks. And we're looking forward to the many things coming on board here at Three Rivers College. And it's always th the only things going on Great. with here, things here at Three Rivers College. And we appreciate your time once again. Thanks. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate right. you.